up, my love buzz, my love muffins. This is Mama Love, and I am here at Cracker Barrel, y'all, with my with my boy C. What's up? What's up? And we we going to work out, um, but we had to come here and get something to eat first. You know what I'm saying? Because. I have been craving some catfish, so I was going to have me some catfish, and I was going to have me some a sweet potato and some turnip greens, so I'm still going to do it right. I'm still going to be good. It's not it's not salmon, but it's catfish, y'all, so I plan on working it off, but yeah, it's, it's time to get it in, y'all. That's right. Now, I went live on YouTube, because I was sitting inside the Cracker Bear. <laughs> I tore that food up, y'all. So now look where I'm at. What a sign. What a sign. What a sign. There it is. I'm about to go get it in. In, in, in. About to go get it in, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, 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 right. Try to get that fat up on that treadmill and burn it off. <laughs> We're here, y'all. Hey. It's about to go down, okay? Go down. And I hope that. We going hard or we going home? We going hard or we going home? But I ain't going home because I'm grown. I'm on a treadmill right now. Yeah, I'm starting off at 1.0 because um, so far, when I first start out, I'll, I'll start off at, uh, I mean, when I go up, I'll, I'll start at, uh, end up at 2, uh, 2.5. At the lowest, like, 2.3. So that's where I'll end up at. But, I like to give myself a kind of like a, uh, a pace to catch up. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, this has got me time for 60 minutes, so an hour. Hmm. Oh, my arms are so fat. I don't want to look like this. Oh, I'm looking at myself. I wish that I had big titties. I wish my arms weren't fat. I got a double gut. A double breasted gut. Put the plate down. Put it down before it's too late. Oh my God. Leave the chitlins alone. Chicken, cornbread, mac and cheese, and grits, bacon and eggs, pork chops, hmm? potatoes, nachos, hamburgers, french fries, and onion rings. Let them go. Turn it loose. <laughs> Turn it loose. <laughs> Are you gonna be like this? And the gym come out. Help me, Lord. Look at that. When I came in here, I had six inches, then it drew up to three. Y'all come and sit on these machines. Get on these machines because you can sit down. Because <laughs> you can work that back. Whew. You can work the, the up here. And work the arms and stuff like that. We can sit on here so we can sit down. But we still got to work, you know? That's not supposed to be. No, it's like this is. No, you're just supposed to do one side first, then come back to the other side. You just now telling me I'm doing it wrong? Yeah. Okay. What? Oh my Lord Jesus. Oh God. Oh Lord. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Get a break. gonna be an example on how you supposed to do it. I think I'm doing right. Cause I towed this mug up. <laughs> <sighs> 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 like 
like you. <laughs> you like you stuck in a boat of water trying to get back to shore. <laughs> the fact that I broke that machine back there, though, it's time to go. I did the elliptical for about five minutes. <laughs> I did the treadmill for 30. I did 100 sit-ups. I mean, 100 uh, those things worked on. Crunches. Uh, crunches, 100 crunches. I didn't last on that very long before I broke the little twister that gets the back fat off. But I tried. Can you see me good, y'all? This is the second night I put it together. I'm going in here. Got my shirt on tonight. Planet Fitness, baby. Back with round two, round two. Round two, boo. Let us do it, boo. What's up, love bugs and love muffins? I'm on here. Finna start it. They got me down for 59, but they post they say the weight loss is supposed to be the 30 minute one, but I'm not sure so i'll tell y'all what i'm just gonna go with the flow i'm just gonna go with the flow y'all so starting off got me at one point zero get my heart rate up and stuff i'll go i'm gonna go fast i probably end up at like mm, 2.5 when i'm walking so as y'all can see i got the hair gym ready because yesterday my hair it drew up and I ain't about to keep putting that heat in my hair, so here I am. All right, y'all. Um, I'm gonna let y'all see where it is once I, uh, heart rate right. I'm gonna let y'all see where it is once I, uh, zero. Y'all saw where it started, y'all gonna see where it ends. All right, stay tuned. Okay, I'm about 43 minutes into this thing. Give me strength, Lord. Jesus. Okay, I stopped for a second, y'all. But I'm gonna start it back up. Oh, God. Y'all, I'm tell y'all something. Keep y'all shape as long as y'all can. Like, don't let yourself go. Don't you let yourself go, it's hard to come back. You gotta work extra hard, you know what I'm saying? So why y'all just gank like 10 to 20 pounds? Get it off. Don't wait till you do like I did and do. Obese, okay? Now I'm over here on this abdominal area. This is where I gotta do the, the 100, uh, I'm gonna do a hundred. I'm gonna do one in ten minutes. I mean, ten, ten uh, counts. Ten, 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 ten. Y'all know. All right, here I go. Number 30, I act like they killed me. But I can't stand my arms, y'all. Look at my arm. I'm like a flabby pancake. I'm in the right place, though. Okay, I'm gonna put this camera down and I'm gonna go for the... You know what I hate? I hate my fat gut. I wish I could get it cut off. Give me a head start. Okay, y'all. I'm in my car now. I'm gonna end this video out. But I did what I could do. Whatever I did, I did my best. And I'm not gonna stop. And I'm grateful for him because he encourages me a lot, Steve. We did it. We do, he always tell me you could do, That's do what right. you could do, at least you here. He said, at least it's still January. That's right. Summer ain't here yet, y'all. This January. And I'm trying so hard. I'm going to let this video go out. I ain't going to add no more to it. But peace out.
In Jesus' name. I'm on my way inside of Walmart. I'm gonna go in here and get me some uh, fat burning foods like uh, some avocado and pineapples, some, they say strawberries and blueberries and things like that. But um, I got a lot on my heart. I just wanna encourage y'all right quick. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. I feel like I failed that life. I don't know, me and Steve were just discussing like things like um where he wanted to be at in four years and how it's not too late for, you know, to be a nurse practitioner, whatever he 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 desired to be. But then I thought about back on my life and my years and you know sometimes you can feel like you can you know if you could go get those those years back you could you know if you knew what you knew back then what you know now it's like it would be a great difference but I guess life don't go like that you know you you go through life experiences for a reason you know you have to live and learn you go through the bad for the good to come you know, and, and that's the only way I look at things to like encourage myself, because if I was to look at it any other way, I would feel like so discouraged right now. Like you just um, I just feel like I've made a big mess of things, you know, like I just I could have did better, you know. But, you know, as I, I was sitting here thinking, it's like I'm not going to allow the enemy to bring me back down that road again i'm not going to go back into that cave of depression you know i'm going to take each day at what it is i may not be able to go back and do the things that i wanted to do over again but it starts right now it starts from here and, and what i'm thinking is you know um i was feeling like i was like i you know like i said I, I failed a lot and it's like things i didn't get to accomplish in my lifetime and you know maybe you go through the change or something like that when you're about to hit 50 or whatever but i'm i'm gonna hit 49 i ain't there yet to 50 but you might as well say i'm there and um, i'm just thinking you know and what encouraged me was uh to don't think like that is the word of god because you know, this is why I serve God. He is so good. Because he brought the scripture to me when I said, I, I didn't do this, Lord. And I and I didn't do that. And I, I felt like I could have did that. And I, I failed on this. And, and, you know, he wasn't like man. He wasn't like most people that would say, oh, get over that. You know, stop, stop, stop worrying about that. Don't go down that path and, and all that type of stuff. And, oh, man, that's just talking negative. Don't, you sound foolish. Change it. You know, things that people would say, God would not say because he's the God of love. And my thing is, God, he brought that scripture to me. Only what you do for Christ will last. It's, it's all that matters, y'all. It's only what you do for him. So I just wanted to encourage somebody out there. If you're at an older age like I am, and you're mid, you know, only what you do for Christ will last. Only what you have done for Christ will last. It don't matter. It don't matter about you didn't get to finish school or you didn't, you know, accomplish this, this career that you wanted to accomplish or you didn't make that goal of how many uh, maybe how many you had a set on how many kids you wanted to be married by, you know, this time and it didn't happen. You know, only what you do for Christ is going to last. You know, make your every opportunity what you do for him. Make that work. Because in the end, like I said, when Christ, when Christ returns, that's what's going to matter. What you accomplished spiritually. Change somebody's life. You know what I'm saying? Um, encourage somebody that's down. If you weren't able to do the things that you wanted to accomplish in life, encourage somebody that's young to do it while they can. 
help somebody when it comes to to that sometimes your words your words can go a long way we may not have money to help people we may not have material things to give them you know we may not even can help them uh, uh when it comes to you know hooking them up with jobs or you know might just may not have that in your auspices but to have but what you can do is encourage somebody to go on a little further you can give somebody a word and that it will encourage them to go on and say you know what you can do this you know keep going no you you didn't accomplish what you wanted to but you know what you still got time things like that you know but only what you do for christ will last and in my spiritual walk with god as long as i accomplish the things that i need to accomplish in god about time i shut my eyes to lead this earth or whether I make it by way of rapture. As long as God says, well done, my good and faithful service servant. That is what I, I done for Christ that gonna last. That's what that means. Because he's a grateful God. He appreciates everything that we do. And don't go unnoticed. It doesn't. So just remember that. I just wanted to say that before I went in this store. It's just on my mind. Be blessed.